First ex-Royal Navy nuclear submarine to be scrapped enters final dismantling phase work has begun on the third and final phase of the dismantling project for the former HMS Swiftsa. As a pilot project for the dismantling program, the vessel will be the first ex-Royal Navy nuclear submarine to be completely dismantled. The glacial project to safely dispose of the decommissioned fleet has finally begun at Rosith in recent years. Each submarine will undergo a three-step process that involves first disposing of low-level radioactive waste LLW. The second and most difficult stage involves disposing of the reactor pressure vessel which houses the reactor core and is classed as intermediate-level radioactive waste ILW. The final stage is to ensure the submarine is completely free of radioactivity and radioactive material and to remove any remaining classified elements. At this stage, the submarine can be cut up and around 90% of the remaining material, mainly steel and other metals, can be reused or recycled in conventional ways. SWIFSA appears to be slightly ahead of schedule, having completed Phase 1, December 2016 to August 2018, and now Phase 2. SWIFSA's disposal is a significant achievement as the world's first pressurized water reactor, PWR, to be dismantled. Other countries use a much simpler process and cut the entire reactor compartment from a submarine and transport it structurally intact to be buried in a land-based storage facility. The U.S. has successfully disposed of over 130 nuclear ships and submarines since the 1980s. Russia has disposed of over 190 Soviet-era vessels, with some international assistance, since the 1990s while France has disposed of three of their much smaller number. In addition to the progress with SWIFSA, LLW has been safely removed from the former HMS Resolution, Revenge, and Repulse. As experience has been gained in subsequent ships, the technique has been refined and more waste has been managed for final disposal at lower costs. Process optimization has enabled 50% more waste to be removed in 75% of the time required for SWIFSA. So far, the work has been completed safely, on budget, and on time. Work is yet to start on the former HMS Dreadnought, Churchill and Renown which are still floating in the basin at Rosith. Despite the positive progress at Rosith, 14 Dock at Devonport is still not ready to receive the first boats to be refueled and dismantled. There are now 15 decommissioned submarines filling the basin at Plymouth, soon to be 16 when HMS Triumph enters service in 2025. The work to get rid of this legacy cannot start soon enough. At least the lessons learned at Rosith should benefit the team at Devonport even though most of these boats are still nuclear-fueled and subject to the four-stage process.